What's going on, Extreme Gang? It is Thursday. Yes, tomorrow is Fabulous Friday, and I will be live at 8 p.m. Eastern. But before we get into all that, our main reason here for today is I've been getting a lot of emails. I'd probably say about at least a dozen of them over the past two weeks, I would say. And mostly it's people asking about building their own YouTube channel, which I think is a great thing and everything, but... A lot of the questions I've been getting is about how much you get paid and all this stuff like that and how to do it. So I wrote some keynotes down and hopefully this is like the bare basics and by no means am I an expert on this. I've been doing this for, oh, I'm trying to think about four years now. And I really didn't start doing a lot on YouTube probably till about the past six to eight months. I just use it as a breaking channel mostly. But I'm going to hit some of the highlights here. Um, hopefully it helps make a lot of sense. I'll have some screen pictures up on my channel to try to show you what I've learned and what I've, you know, really messed up on. I'm not going to lie. Some people, you know, meet their goal of getting uh, the threshold for monetization very quickly. Some struggle and that you could hear them a lot of times where they're upset, you know, with it all. And, you know, their, their subscribers aren't going up and they're just really frustrated. So hopefully this here will help people out. Um, so let, let's just get into it real quick. Well, not real quick, but hit the big topics here. So you want to build a YouTube channel. All right. Well, you got to look at it. Are you doing it mostly for, you know, the fun and the entertainment of it? Or are you out there trying to make money? Because you're looking at people like Logan Paul, Jake Paul, George Janko, um, all, all the big players on YouTube that are making a million dollars a year. They've been doing that for like 10 years. And the, even Mr. Beast is like a different exception. But, you know, these guys all have, you know, understood what it takes to put into YouTube and how to break the algorithm. And an algorithm is just how YouTube's going to promote your channel, your videos, and everything out which is a really hard concept and it's always changing. So again, I'm not the key person on it. I just, you know, do my thing and that's pretty much it. But you got to figure out which way you want to go with it all. You know, um, you just want to have a place to where, you know, you're having fun and entertaining people and showing off cards or whatever you may want to do. I'm, I'm, t I'm putting this more towards a sports card thing because it's really hard to get up in there and if you do get monetized to make like millions of dollars, it ain't gonna happen. I'm just gonna be honest. That that's set for guys that are doing it for entertainment purposes and stuff like that. All right. So basically you start your YouTube channel, you gotta have a Gmail account and all that other fun stuff there. And you sit there and you're like, well, I want to do baseball cards, what's a bit or sports cards, whatever you want to call it. That's a big aspect out there with it. I mean, I even have some off the wall videos on my channel, but it was mostly due because I was experimenting around with different things. And, you know, I figured it'd be fun to make this video or that video up. But get to a genre that you want to do, stick with it. Don't sit there and change it. If you're going to change it, make a new channel. Tell, tell the people that are already subscribed, hey, I made a new channel up. I'm going to be talking about this stuff and go with it there. Because if you start mixing your videos and how you're, what you're, say you started with sports cards, now all of a sudden you want to cover freaking all the games of the day, like trying to be like an ESPN or something. Or you want to switch it over to like, I'm a farmer and I want to, you know, a farming channel. It's really going to hurt your channel, to be honest. I've seen it in, in the past where people would did that and, you know, they just went out and made a new channel afterwards. So that that's pretty much where you need to look at just starting off. All right. Let me pull up this. All right. So you made your YouTube channel. You signed up. You got your, you know, your uh, YouTube name and all that stuff. So now you want to do the look. And this is one of the key things. I see a lot of people always out there wanting to come to channels. Hey, check my channel out. And there's no organization whatsoever. Now, some of the stuff you see on my screen, I'll explain what it is and stuff too because you probably don't have it. So first thing you want to do, if you look up here at the top, whoops, wrong thing, wrong screen, my bad, that is a banner. So you have to have certain lengths and all this other crazy stuff. If you know how to do it, do it. If not, 
go to Fiverr. It's like F-I-V-E-R-R, -R, something like that. Go pay somebody like 15, 20 bucks to make yourself a logo up. Another like 15 bucks, they'll do a YouTube banner for you. It's done and over with. And no way am I sponsoring Fiverr or anything like that, but it was just where I went to because I didn't know anybody could do that stuff. And I'm definitely not smart enough. I might be able to take what they gave me and go on PowerPoint and add some words to it or something, make it look good, but that's about it. All right. You want to make sure your layout flows, okay? So what I mean by that is when you scroll down here, give it an intro video. They give you the option, use it, okay? Whatever it may be, welcome to my channel. This is what it's about. Mine's about the website. Look, then you start going down here. Recent activities, all my recent videos. Popular uploads, that's just one of the things on here. Created playlist. That's another key thing you want to have on your channel to organize your material. Whether it's like me, breaks. Um, when I go treasure hunting at the uh, antique malls and flea markets. Stuff about my website. Uh, when I was doing Throwback Thursdays, those were all in a different uh, you know, picture. Product previews, all that. Make your playlist up because what it does is if somebody watches that, say that video for, what is that there, uh, Panini One. What it's going to do, YouTube's going to show on the right more of that playlist, so you want people to keep watching your videos because it's monetized. And I'll touch monetization here real briefly uh, a little bit later into this. So you want your channel to flow. Now, when you look up here, is your videos, your playlist, your community, and there's a part in here where it's like a just post stuff for your community if you want to. Hey, I'm going live. You know, I don't know how many people look at that stuff, but it's there. You got your other channels, your subscribers, if you want to show people. And big thing, it's your description and all that stuff there. You want to add channel tags into it, whatever it may be. Put in whatever, you know. I, I put in other channels just when I was first starting, just so I can get people stuff onto there. And they'll be like, oh, look, you know. So this guy's being recommended, you know, because of this stuff. Whatever it may be, put it in there. It'll help you. Okay. And, okay, well, I'll hit SEO here in a little bit. Let's go into what the video is. So I started uploading the video, even though I already had it on. It's going to take a while, and I got to delete it then. So this is, I still use the videos, okay? Now, granted, I make all my own videos. You can get a pro. You can either use, like, I use XSplit. XSplit does all my broadcasting for me, my recordings. If I want to do it on Facebook or YouTube or wherever else there may be, it, you know, it'll publish out to it. And you got, you can like uh, YouTube, how to set the stuff up and do it and all that stuff. So that's how I use for my streaming. Second off the bat, what I do, let me see if I can shrink this without messing anything up. Okay called Wondershare Filmora. I think I spent 50 bucks on it. It's to edit videos like I'm doing now where I'm not. And I can add like little special things into it. All that stuff though I got was off of like Fiverr. Make me an intro video, 10 seconds long. You know, it was like 10 bucks, <laughs> you know, whatever it may be. I'm not saying by any means go dump a lot of money in your channel, but if you're sitting there and you're stuck on like, 300 subscribers it's not moved in a couple months start looking at stuff like this because it'll make your appearance better make people want to come and you know look at your channel and see what you got so just little things that somebody helped me out down the way i had a, a marketing team about two years ago and i was spending oh i bet you 200 bucks to 300 bucks a month with uh, ads and all that stuff that went out and they did a lot of this and the girls were great they were all girls for some reason and they taught me a lot about this where i would have never learned it all right so you're uploading your video here's your description you know this was what's labeled i'd fix this up put some hyphens in there this was 320 packs 89 don rush youtube record whatever you do don't catfish somebody to go look at your video because they'll never come back to you again and by meaning a catfish, it might be, okay, I'm opening up a box of, what's what was new? Uh, oh, 2020 Gypsy Queen I got right in front of me. And I either bought like a Walmart box or a hobby box. 
and I put down like 2020 Gypsy Queen uh, hobby box. Um, biggest hit of my life. So I watched the video and it pulled a $2 auto. That's catfishing because I'm expecting to see one of one on one lineup cards or a one on one. So I'm expecting something huge. Now, I got it if you're a younger viewer and you pull like a boba shed. That's your biggest card so far, autograph. That's fine. But don't catfish people to look at because they're never going to come back to you. I mean, it's cool to do a video if you've been doing stuff for a while and you want to catfish once or twice just to mess around with people on your channel, you know, like April Fools or whatever. Go ahead and do that. That's fine, but starting off, don't do stuff like that because as a viewer, because I look, I look at a lot of channels and I see something like that and I watch it and uh, I'm trying to think what would be one of the recent ones. I can't remember, there's just so many of them. It'll be like, huge hit, you know, and there to me, when I look at it, it was not even a huge hit. It's And I go on eBay and say, you know, $1.95 <laughs> last sold or something like that. Come on now. All right. Let's see here. Next thing you want to do is you want to put in any of your tags here. Now, as you can see, out of my views, this is what overall key volume. 49.8% of the people were searching for my name. That's all it's telling me. But you could use one of two things. So uh, let me see if I can get, I can't get it up here. Uh, okay, right here. This little thing here, TB, is called TubeBuddy, all right? So with TubeBuddy, it's a free program. Don't pay for it. It'll give you suggested tags, you know, based off of current trends. It'll tell you, hey, you know, put in sports card show 2019. It was stuff that I was doing before. It was popular. But put in stuff. You know, I'd put 1989 Donruss Baseball, YouTube Record. Uh, is another one, you know, stuff like that there. This is Premier. I don't mess with it. Make all your videos public. This is just more stuff YouTube or TubeBuddy's telling me I need to do here. Down here, you got another one. It's called VidIQ, V-I-D-I-Q. Same thing as the YouTube Buddy or TubeBuddy. I'm sorry, TubeBuddy. But I use them both because they both give me different things. And it's really good to look at because I could sit there and hit Keyword Inspector here and see... You know, is this keyword going to be doing well for me or not for people doing searches on YouTube? And this here is just telling you stuff to do. A lot of it I do, some I don't. Share on social media, very big. You know, at the end of you creating your video up here, it's going to have all these little emblems. Share them to everything you're on. Twitter, um, Facebook, Pinterest, I'm trying to think, Tumblr, whatever it may be. That's my video IQ score because I haven't done anything to this. It's, it's really bad. 1.9 out of 100. All right. So as you scroll down, thumbnail. You want a thumbnail. What's a thumbnail? It's this picture right here. Hooray, it's Mel Day, whatever it may be. Now, granted, I do not make these. I just find pictures that are already out there, and I add them to PowerPoint, and I throw stuff together onto it, make it look the best I can, make it a JPEG, and I post it there. Or I'll already take a picture, it's like on David Adams or something like that, of a box of Gypsy Queen, I'll post it. Because well, you want to give something other than like a weird looking screen picture right there. Um, it's just one of those things they tell you to do. And believe it or not, my views and stuff went up after they did this stuff. And even like my subscriber count. So, thumbnails. The other thing I want to hit is if you're going to do YouTube, don't post like one video every two weeks to four weeks and sit there and say, I'm not getting enough subscribers. Reason why is they're telling you should post a video three to five times a week. I try to go seven times a week, but there's a lot of times I'll hit five, six times a week too. post videos, content, because right now we're in COVID-19 era and people who are sitting at home. They want to watch videos. So are you going to watch a video of a guy who has his hands on the screen you know, getting ready to open a product, or you're going to open up with a nice picture there that you're kind of curious, you know, what's behind there. All right. Moving on. Hit keywords. Okay, you got a description. It's up here, too. Boom. This piece right here, description. Retype that header into this. Boom, it's there. Put down all your stuff. Put down your popular videos. Even if it has 20 views on it, put it in there because... You're relinking a YouTube video 
to a YouTube video. It don't make sense, but trust me, it does after it was explained. And I wish I could explain how they did, but just amazing. I put my address in there. It's just because a lot of people send stuff every now and then. Who I collect to show some personal stuff. My website's on there. Email, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, eBay. And then my music comes from the free YouTube library. And you got to put that down there. Real quick, I'm going to flip back to the main page here. Because I forgot about this. Up here in the top right, that's my Breakers TV ID when I used to do it. That is my website, Facebook, eBay, Twitter. It's all up here for people to click on. You want that because you want to have people be able to go there and either join your Facebook group, follow your Twitter, all that stuff. Um, it's fine that if you're going to sit there, you know, if I was really going to go in depth with this, I'd start talking about, uh, what is it, microphones, lighting, cameras to use and all that. I mean, you can sit there and Google that stuff, go on Amazon and buy it. But if I wanted to, you know, start selling what they call merch or be an affiliate of Amazon, I could post these little links and then I get a profit out of it. Like, you spend $10 on this and maybe, you know, that product's giving me $0.10 cents back on it or something or a dollar. I don't know. Something like that. But it's cool. You could do stuff like that. If that's what your channel is going to be about, reviewing, you know, different things. Go for it. Do it. Make sure you get an Amazon affiliate account. That way people can click on and buy it. And you get a little piece of it from Amazon because you're kind of like that. You're a salesperson type deal. And if you do merch like t-shirts, hats, and all that, push it on there. Put it to your store. I have My merch is my store, so I have a link on to it. Keep your videos simple. Don't go overboard. I know a lot of times I do. But just keep them simple. Um, try to keep to the point, especially when you're just recording on your own. You don't have, and, and I don't want to say it's a distraction when you're trying to engage the chat when you're live. But when you start doing that, you'll tend to go off target of what you want to talk about. And you might lose your train of thought. So here, while you're just doing a regular recording and then you're going to upload it and stuff later, stay to the task at hand. And just get your points out there. I do an outline if you have to, if you're going to do a talk like I did. And, and trust me, it's on three little stickies here. It's nothing big. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Next point. Don't post just a post. Oh, gosh. That's one of the worst things I could say I see. People will post like a two-minute video of absolutely something that, I, you know, I look at it and I'm like, wow, when you start just posting the post videos, you're not, the keyword is entertaining, how do they say it? entertaining your subscribers. They're looking at it and going, oh, and they're clicking off that video. So now all of a sudden you got three seconds of watch time in that video and that video will never get populated by YouTube. And if you want to learn more about like that stuff there, find one of them smart people listen to what they have to say on here and i'm telling you you'll learn a lot I, I, by far i'm not the smartest person but it's just stuff that's kept with me when i'm doing it because i've done it so much it's like a repetition when i'm going through it i know what i'm plugging in where i'm going i have my own system down like a battle rhythm so if you're former military you know what i'm talking about a battle rhythm so look at those people there there's some good people out there don't just go off of one video watch about four or five of them and the parts that they're um, talking about that each one of them are talking about that's probably something you want to do with your videos just to help yourself out all right now this was where i struggled i don't want to say struggled but i started off just as a breaking channel where i was just come on break the product go when you do that you know people are just going to turn on just because you're breaking a product so if you're always on here, like you do a video, I don't know, and we'll just say, oh, I'm selling a Bobochet rookie. I know it's right in front of me. And, uh, you know, first person to comment gets $5, or you're always just coming on to sell, that's going to be your channel, okay? It's going to take a longer time probably to make your thresholds if you want to hit monetization. And I'm going to hit monetization next just so everybody's tracking what it means and all that stuff but you know try to give different content within your area you know whatever it may be um come live 
don't always just post videos. Try to come live every now and then just to engage people as well. I found that really works pretty good. At the same time, you get to start, you know, it's almost like when you go to a card show, you're engaging somebody face-to-face. -face. Well, here you're kind of doing the same thing, but it's not face-to-face, -face, but you kind of build that rapport. So hopefully that makes sense right there. And I'm trying to watch the time of this video. I mean, we're already at 20 minutes, so I'm going to try to get this done here in about another 10 at tops. Don't worry, we're on the third sticky. Last one. Monetization. So what that means is that you have 100 subscribers and you've had 4,000 hours watched. Now, this is where a lot of people, 100 subscribers, most people can get. The 4,000 hours watched in a 12-month slot, that has to be the 12-month slotting window. So, like, today's April 2nd, it would go back till April 3rd of 2019 after that 4,000 hours watched. So, if you're only posting those quick two-minute videos and you're only getting watched for three seconds because you catfish somebody, that's not helping your 4,000 hours at all. That's why I'm trying to say if you're trying to get monetized, Pay attention to your content. Take some time when you're building your videos and trying to do something to help somebody out or, or do something. I'm sorry, I have to help somebody out. I was reading my screen up here and my stick at the same time frame. But when you're doing your videos, do it to, you know, it's going to be good, entertaining, quality video. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I'm not fancy, and I know a lot of other YouTubers aren't fancy with their stuff. But it, it's the content they're providing that keeps people interested, and that's what you want to do. Um, but monetization, so people think you're going to make a lot of money on this. You have a thing that's called, I think it's like a CPM rate. So what it is, is YouTube, you know, all these advertisers pay YouTube, and you see little pop-ups and all that. So you get a CPM rate, and it goes off of like whatever type of channel you have. Like I do people on blogs. Some people do sports entertainment. I found people on blogs actually give you like an extra penny or two, but it's just the way I look at it. <coughs> so CPM, I got bad allergies like right now, so don't think I have like COVID-19 or not. I haven't even left the house. So if I sell stuffed up, it's because of my allergies, my throat's dry from uh, – whatever this Allegra allergy medicine thing is. But, um, oh, monetize it with the money part of it all. CPM means for every thousand views on a video, I would average three to four dollars. Okay. Then what happens is YouTube takes a little percentage out of it, and then it goes into another account. It's called Ad, Google AdSense. And until you make $100, they don't release it to your bank account. you got to go through all this big, long verification process. I would suggest as soon as you would hit that threshold to go ahead and do it. I did it a while back, but and it was probably about two weeks for me. Now I hear people saying it takes 30 to 90 days to get monetized. Because they actually go through and look at your videos, too. They, they, they want to make sure, you know, they're going to be paying somebody that's actually doing videos. On average, people ask, how much do I make? One of the popular questions. In a course of a year, I'll get paid three times. We'll just say it's like $100 each time. So that's $300. I take that there and I push it right back into my giveaways or whatever I do. That's me. Now, some people you can just take in consideration if they're getting 100,000 views, you take 100 because you got to divide 1,000 into it, so that's 100. And say they're making $4 uh, video or for 1,000 for views, you know, that's $400 they made that month. So you can start looking at people's channels that way if you want. I mean, that's just a big guess on to what they make, but that's like the average three to four bucks. Roughly, sometimes, you know, some videos get paid more, $8, $10. just depends on the content. All righty here. We're going to wrap this up here real quick. Finally, or finally, <laughs> final parts of this whole thing. See, I wrote finally, and I don't know why I did, but it's supposed to be final on here. Equipment. Like I said, you're going to need probably a computer. You're going to need high-speed internet, especially if you go live. You got to look at your programs. We already talked about that. I use XSplit and uh, whatever that Filmora thing was I said in the beginning. I know it's Filmora. Both of those I paid. I paid the lifetime subscription. I think it was like 100 bucks back in the day for XSplit. And I paid 60 bucks for a lifetime on Filmora. Uh, let's see. 
you know, you got to probably get a better mic than once on your computer. That, that, I think my mic was like 40 bucks. My cameras are probably about 100 bucks back in the day, two web cameras. You know, my Macs were free because I was a breaker. I still do breaking and stuff. And you got to start calculating all that stuff that you're going to need, the cords, the Ethernet cable, all that stuff. You know, it adds up really quickly. You might do a setup if you had to buy a new computer. It could cost you three, four thousand dollars. But start simple with what you guys got. Don't go out and buy all the big stuff at first. That's a cardinal mistake. Alrighty, here. The other way is you gotta find a way to be yourself out there and promote yourself. I mean, I go into other people's channels all the time and I'll talk. I'll even make comments on videos. No way am I. I did this a long time ago where I'd go in here and post links. It's probably not a good thing to do. Um, some channels don't care if you do it, you know, whatever it may be. But, you know, be respectful. Oops, sorry, guys. I forgot I, forgot I had this phone still on because I'll leave it on for work. But, um, you know, be respectful. Uh, don't blast some dude every video he has posted, like 500 videos with your links into it. Because more than likely, nobody's going to be reading those comments unless you catch it within the first, you know, couple hours to a day. All right. And if you go into somebody's live chat, okay, don't – I know a lot of people talk about this. Some people don't care if you post links. I guess you got to have a little wrench thingy on there to do it. But don't continually spam in their chat about your channel because nobody's going to want to come to join you because they're like, oh, gosh, this dude's annoying, you know, type deal. I go in and I just talk. And if somebody wants to say, hey, check out Extreme Card Breaks. He's got a good channel. I appreciate it. It's good, kind words and so on. A lot of times, like if, if the guy's monetized, I'll throw up there, you know, two, five bucks to him. Because normally they'll plug you for doing that and you'll get some cool subscribers out of it and everything like that. I mean, I've had some great people come to the channel by doing that. And, you know, I'm giving him a couple dollars for his time just to plug my name and stuff like that. So... Don't be afraid to do stuff like that there because you're supporting that YouTuber, keeping him going and growing bigger or her. At the same time frame, you're helping yourself out. So it's kind of like one of those, what do they call it, uh, quid pro quad, whatever it is. You know, I scratch your back, you scratch mine type deal. But be involved in other channels. Go out there, talk, throw in your two cents, be polite, be respectful and everything. And uh, go ahead and grow yourself onto it. it. It's really, really cool. Um, and eventually, whenever you get, you know, your channel starts growing and everything, you can start looking at other aspects you want to do with your channel, whether you want to do giveaways or, you know, I'm going to try one of these videos out, see how well it does. Some of my videos, they'll go get a thousand views. Some of my videos get 50 views. Some get 20 views. Some get thousands of views. It just all depends with you, with, Who's watching it, how quickly everybody's watching it, how long they're watching the video for, percentage wise. If I have a 10-minute video, it's only lasting a minute. That's not a good retention rate. you got to at least be in that 50% mark around four, five, six minutes. Then YouTube will start saying, hey, you know, um, Johnny over here searching for 2020 Gypsy Queen, I'm just using this in front of me, breaks or cards so when they put in there youtube's like hey this guy's getting a lot of views it looks like a good video let's promote him on the sidebar so somebody will click on your video um but like i said if you're trying to figure out the algorithm and the seo part check youtube there's a lot of people out there that have some great information don't use the first person listen to about five people some if you it's a topic that everybody's hitting on and it's pretty much the same it's probably something you need to look at Easiest way I could say it uh, by doing it, uh, play around with your videos, have fun with the channel and everything. And at the same time frame, don't get frustrated if you're not getting subscribers and views. Take a look at what other people are doing. I'm not saying do what they're doing, but look at their quality of their videos and how they're setting up their thumbnails, channels, and stuff like that. So you could do that as well. And it just takes time. It's not, like I said, it's very hard just to come on there unless you're like, uh, like Phil's Pulse, former, former pitcher for Major League Baseball. You know, he's starting to get a good following on her because he was an established person. You're starting off, and even me, at the very bottom, you know, we're not known. So you got to build your reputation up onto that stuff there. Um, 
when you build your channel, get your Facebook friends, your family, all them to come, you know, subscribe your channel, go live and be like, hey, guys, give me a hand. I want to go live. You know, all your baseball card friends. I'm going to go live Saturday at 3 p.m. for like 30 minutes with me. You know, that way it starts showing people coming into your room and everything. And, you know, you start having good content, good conversations. And also be respectful if everybody that's in your comes to and subscribes or makes comments on your channel. I mean, like, oh man, that's harsh comment they made on me. But you know, take a consideration you might have missed. And this is a perfect example. Yesterday, I did a in the middle of my video. I put down at uh, twenty percent of my store from like five p.m. to eleven p.m. Eastern. I was thinking more of you know uh, California. Yeah, it'd be like 8 p.m. Eastern. That's pretty good. Well, a couple people that live further away, like Hawaii, um, Hawaii, well, Japan, I had a couple, Canada, even Alaska and stuff. Were like, hey, man, by the time that expired, it was like 5 in the afternoon my time. Make them last a little bit longer and stuff like that. And whether it's by email you get that because you've given your email comment on your post, look at it because we can, not all the time we get good critiques. It's bad critiques, too. Look at it, make a change to it. Be like, you know what, they're right. I probably should have did it this way because it would have made better sense. So, what I'm doing, because you all stuck with the video for this long, hopefully. I'm going to relaunch the 20% discount tonight. By the time you see this video, it's live. We'll go until Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern. That gives everybody a big enough span to go on to the store and get what they want out of it. And be able to use the discount code. It was my bad because I looked at it and I was thinking more Pacific time, three hours different. I wanted something with short point video. It should have been longer. I did that with the store. So, as you can see, you know, don't go backlashing back at somebody because they're helping critique your channel onto it. A lot of ideas from people are critiquing the channel. And it's not that somebody's out there nitpicking. you trying to help you make your channel better. Look at it regardless. When you get the, if you're like a, on the phone and somebody calls up and blows up on you because your service is horrible, you got to remember, they're angry. you don't need to get angry back onto them because then you're just going to create a hostile phone call or whatever it may be, and it's going to look bad down the road. All right, that's pretty much it. If you, if anybody has questions on any of this, you can post it in chat, send me an email, whatever it may be. I'll try to help you out the best I can. Again, I'm not a subject matter expert, but I have enough people ask where you know, of what I know to try to help out other people along the way. Um, this stuff was not all taught to me. Uh, some of it I paid for the marketing team. Uh, so I learned a good bit of, it, bit off of it. And if I can get information off and it helps you, uh, it makes me really happy. If you're a channel just starting or you're stagnant with your subscribers, looking at some of the different options you have out there try to make content a little bit better and to, you know go out and do, I do on to everything whether it's you know making your videos a little bit flashier with a thumbnail or what they call it an end card whatever it may be on there you know hey it's your channel you can always do whatever you want with it but in the long run if you if you're Kind of like in that process where you're like, man, I really need 4,000 hours watched and I'm only at like 2,500 if for last year. Just take a look at some of the things I said. Watch some other videos on what people do with theirs. The stuff doesn't have to be the flashiest, but you got to come out and, you know, I don't want to say your content's not good because it's probably good content. It's just the presentation of the content just needs to be tweaked a little bit onto it. So, again, I, I hope this helps anybody out out there. Um, again, I'm not the best person on to this. I just hit 2,000 subscribers. So, But there was a lot of mistakes I made along the way, and I 
learn to fix by trial and error. Hopefully, you know, some of this stuff helps you to where you don't have to have them bumps in the road like I did. Again, thank you, everybody, as always, for subscribing. I do appreciate all the support with both the YouTube channel and the website. It, it means a lot. And by, like I said, with the um, website, a lot of the revenue I use, and I think it was something like 72-something percent, 70 to 75%. I put right back into the giveaways onto it just so that, you know, a lot of people out there have a hard time with the hobby, especially now COVID-19, you know, prices are really high. If I can make somebody happy by doing a giveaway and they win, it means the world to me, honestly. All right. I will talk to you all tomorrow night. If you guys got questions, I'll be on tomorrow night. You can ask me all the YouTube crazy questions you want. I'll tell you some of my YouTube crazy stories. And, That'll be about it. There will be a box openings tomorrow night. No product. Well, I do a product, but I'm using it for a giveaway. All right. I'll talk to you all later. Take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy out there. Uh, I know it's, it's bad being cooped up at home. I will talk to you all later.